Uh-oh, a carpenter, an engineer, and an old window. <laughs> I feel an efficiency story coming on. You're in the right place. What yeah. do we got? We're looking at a double hung window, uh, single pane, uh, very common across the United States. So, uh, but we're trying to make it more energy efficient. Because they are very inefficient by nature, right? Mm -hmm. They sure are. Yeah. I mean, how bad are they? Okay, so for context, a single pane window like this is probably an R value of one, okay. around one. A, a wall has an R value of any 13, 15, 20, you know, much, much higher, right? So 20 times better than the window from, a, from an R value perspective. So it's effectively a hole in your wall when it comes to energy efficiency. That's right. You know, and you could recommend upgrading to new windows, but new windows are expensive. And the thing is they're rated in terms of U value. So that really confuses people because they're like, wait a second, I want an R value. I'm looking at U value labels and U value is the inverse of R value. Okay. So when you're looking for R value in walls, you want a higher number. With U value, you want a lower number. Mm -hmm. right. Code in most areas is a U value of 0 0.32. 0 0.32. Right, okay. that's an R value of about three. Yeah. So it's three times better than your R1 single pane window, right? R1 to R3, but you buy that window with a U value of 0 0.32. How low can I go? I mean, there are some high-performing windows that are really, really well. That could be R8, even some R10s. Which would be a lower U, right? So lower than 0.32. Yeah, we're talking about like 0.1, you know, in that U value range. Sign me up for that. But they are super expensive, you know, and, you know, a different, different make. So replacing any window is going to be 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, an opening times 10, 20. It, yeah, it's I a mean, big job. Have? Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of money. So we don't have that kind of money to talk about right here. Right. Alternatives to that? So the storm windows would be yeah. the next, next yeah. best bet. Here's your traditional storm window, aluminum frame. You still have glass screens. You can put this up year round. You can pull them out if you want to. It's up to you. Put them up year round because it's operable. Yep. So we can shut the glass in the winter and then we can have the screen exposed in the summer. Exactly. I'm probably gonna hire a professional to order all the right sizes and do the installation. It's still a lot of work. You have to size it right to the window. If you got them on the second story, getting the ladders out, screwing them on, it's a lot of work. So, and it's a lot of money because we're yeah. talking a couple hundred bucks per opening. Again, times 10 or 15 openings. Yeah. Right. My wallet ain't that big. Right. What do you got for a lighter wallet solution? But I will say, storm windows, they, they work so well because they give you a second layer of glass right. that mm -hmm. creates an air channel, a stagnant air pocket behind yes. between the storm window and the single pane window, effectively making it a double pane window mm -hmm. and really stopping that air leakage through the window. It's a very good point because they work really well. They and they're very common. They do. But yeah. for in this case, uh, I'm but, cheap. Yeah. <laughs> what, for for more called? DIY friendly, for stuff that you can do on the inside, yeah. um, I usually recommend either a plexiglass cutout or a shrink kit. Right. So right literally, uh, when you say shrink kit, it's because it's a piece of plastic that gets taped and then the heat gun or the, the hair dryer, yep. Yep. it shrinks it, makes it tight. Exactly right. And stops the air leakage, right? But you're doing it from the inside. And you're doing it just for the season because in the spring, this should come off so that you can use the window. Yep. Exactly right. Yep. Okay. And this is pretty cheap and effective. Sure. Yep. What else you got? We have for? even cheaper options than that. Such as? But first thing, let's step back and say, you know, why is the air coming in? Can you put your hand up against it and feel a draft? Yes. You know, we want to try and eliminate that and there's different options to do it. So we come over here to the side, you know, you have your case and you feel air coming in here. Maybe it's not insulated correctly on the other side of the jam and the air is coming around the side. You could pull your casing off, you could use some low expanding foam, insulate that, you could use some fiberglass. Maybe you can't do that, maybe you just grab the caulking gun and seal this up. So where the casing hits the jam or where it hits the wall, just caulk it there. Exactly, fill it right in. So say you want to insulate between the, under the sash or in between the sashes, there's a few different options. We have some caulking cord that can be put up top. We have some weather stripping that can be applied to the bottom of the sash or the top of the sash. So weather stripping, I'll start with that. So it's basically a tubular shape that'll compress uh, and it's got some sticky on the back. This is a really easy option too. Just cut it to length. So sticky back, you yep. just peel that off. Apply it right to the bottom of the sash. So you're going bottom of sash instead of top of sill, obviously, so that we don't see it very much, yep. especially not when it's open, right? Exactly, so now we push this sash down so that'll compress it down, make it nice and tight. Now another option is caulking cord like this. Say you have a large gap between your sashes. This is like a clay putty material. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Comes in a, a wide roll. You just pe peeled off one of these individual cords. Yeah, pretty simple. You just cut it right to length, run it along the, uh, the two sashes where they meet, stuff it in there, leave it for the winter time right between the, uh, the sash lock as well. Exactly, but this option here is good for the winter time and in the spring you can pull it right out and you can open your window up with the AC in or whatever you need to do. 
So weather stripping down here stays on permanently or as yeah. long as it lasts through the mm -hmm. seasons, this is coming off in the spring, so just good for the winter. Correct. Mm -hmm. And if we do these things on the inside, if we sort of seal the holes, stop the airflow, mm -hmm. how much comfort and savings have we added to an old window? Dram I mean, dramatic energy savings. The air leakage through these windows is horrible. Anything we can do to stop that is going to improve the comfort level that you said through the building and also the energy efficiency. The heating system doesn't have to work as hard. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. But you guys have to work hard because we've got 35 more windows to go. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.